I've been looking at a ton of real life floor plans recently trying to get some inspiration for Sims builds, like more so than usual. And the thing about real life houses and real life floor plans is they often have garages, right? Or at least driveways and space for cars. We don't really have that in The Sims, obviously, because there's no cars in The Sims 4. I do kind of like how fake garages look in The Sims, and sometimes they can be useful to like throw in all that random stuff like cupcake machines and things like that that you need but have no space for. I just wish that we had more like actual stuff for garages, like real garage doors that aren't just like one little metal thing. Thing. Oh, cat's in here. I didn't even realize. And she's leaving. Anyway, moral of the story is I wish we had more car stuff. I don't even really care about having functional cars. I kind of just want to have like car stuff in the game. And today I was kind of feeling like building a really small house with a garage because oftentimes when I build houses in The Sims that have garages, it's like really big lots that I want to put a driveway on to help fill in space. I don't usually try and sneak them into smaller spaces like this one. So I wanted to try and do that today. I was looking at this house in particular because I kind of liked the like skinny one car driveway, one car garage garage with a second floor on top of it. This is kind of like what my real life house looks like. I don't think I want to build this exact thing. I also don't love that there's not a window right here. So we're going to get inspired by shape, but maybe not so much style on this. I'm literally going to start with the car. I know that's kind of weird, but like, I think because we're trying to build this house entirely based around the garage, I should probably pick the car first because we need to make sure there's space for it in the driveway, right? Like we need to make sure the driveway is big enough to fit the car. I don't know which one I want to use. Um, oh, maybe that blue Blue one is cute. What is there a difference between these or are they this? No, they're the same. This game is weird. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one though. I think that one is smaller though. Ooh, but it looks fancier. It doesn't matter. Just put a random car, Kayla. It doesn't even function. Like you can't even actually use it. It's purely decoration. It's also free. So this could could be a starter home if we wanted it to. You know, I will be honest with you though, I don't exactly love the look of garages. They're just kind of ugly. I hate to say it, but it's true. I'm probably gonna do it like this, by the way. I was thinking we would put like some sort of fake garage door like this. This is how I usually do it, is I'll put like a fake door with the windows. There's also like that metal garage door thing that came from City Living, but it doesn't really look like a garage door. It looks like a metal like shed door or something. I'm more going for like this style garage door and not like an industrial type type garage door, which is kind of what the city living ones are like. I might actually build a house like this one. The garage takes up so much of the lot. It's kind of sad. Um, if I did it like this, and then if I used terrain tools, I'm just thinking that, I'm just wondering if we could maybe get like some sort of custom driveway this way, if we sloped it ourselves. Oh, it's not gonna look good. It really won't look good. But you know, we can, tr oh my God. You know, besties, there is a reason that I don't really use terrain tools in this game. And I, I think that you're discovering that reason right now. <laughs> See, I tried to smooth it and I smoothed it too much. I made it too low. I mean, that would be nice, but like, does the car then float? Oh my God. No, you know what? No. <laughs> Just actually forget it. It's fine. It can be flat. I, I like it better that way. I came here to have fun, okay? I will not tolerate glitches from The Sims today. It's not even a glitch, it's just by design, but I'm not here for it. I I simply refuse. Oh my gosh, this house is gonna be so small on the inside. I love it. Do you think I can fit three bedrooms? We might be able to fit three bedrooms. I will certainly try. That might be a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. I'm not sure. This is such a classic Lil Simsy shaped build. <laughs> this is like a classic cake shaped house that I I always build. It just works well, okay? It looks kind of weird from the first floor, but it makes for really decent shape on the outside. Like, I don't know. I, I understand that I have a problem with always building houses that look like that though. It's just, it's a tried and true method, okay? Should I have this not have any overhang? Oh, I think that looks better. Okay. Oh, you know what's kind of fun? Place your bets now on how much you think this house is gonna cost. Cause it's really small. It it certainly should not be expensive. Are you kidding? That's floating. It, it certainly should not be expensive, but it probably will be. I'm gonna have the car be like ever so slightly not straight. I like it. Anyway, this is gonna be an expensive house probably. I can I can tell already. Purely because I am the one building it. And if we're being realistic, that that probably means it'll be pricey. I do really enjoy the size of the backyard though. I feel like this is really nice. I will say I wish that it didn't do that in the little corner. That's very annoying. <sighs> I think the only way to fix that is to have it be wider, right? And I don't, th no, no, it's still gonna do that. Oh good, all right, whatever. <laughs> maybe I'll have no plants, I don't know, we'll see. I could always do it thinner, maybe and just have the plants there. Eh, I'll come back to that when I start landscaping. I really wanna put some big windows like that, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna regret that when I do the floor plan. I guess we can always change it. I think I want a bigger door. The problem is that I had to go and put this house on a platform, so the bigger door is clipping. 
whose bad idea was this? Mine. <laughs> the answer is mine. It was my bad idea. The problem is that the doors, they always seem kind of small, don't they? Maybe that one will work. Oh no, that's okay. That'll, that'll do. All right, let's figure out like an actual proper floor plan for this house. I'm thinking that I will have it have a slight entryway like that, just because I need to get it down from the platform because there is a platform that the, the front door is on, unfortunately. <laughs> and then somehow we need to put a staircase and a door to the garage. Oh no. What if, well, hang on. What if this whole place was on a platform then? I'm just thinking. I'm not sure what the best thing to do is, but I'm thinking. I don't think that's the best thing to do though. <laughs> that looks terrible from the upstairs as well. That will not work. Okay, cool. All right, I'm just thinking maybe this will be okay. This would end up being a bathroom. The staircase is in a decent spot. You can have a little door to the garage right here. So that's like the side door basically. This garage is absolutely in no way, shape, or form big enough to have a car in it, but I kind of like that about it. I think it's going to be kind of cozy. I'll put like the laundry and a woodworking table and stuff in there. Anyway, so your sims would walk in through here. They can access this bathroom. Cute little staircase. So then maybe we could put the kitchen in the back over here. I wish the door was a bit smaller. Okay, I know I've been complaining about doors being too small this whole time and now I want it to be smaller, but we could do a smaller door like right there and then have the kitchen along this way, kind of like that. And then that leaves good space space for like a dining table and the living room all in this area. Oh, that's perfect. This is actually a pretty decent layout of a downstairs. Upstairs, oh, we'll have to figure this out. This could definitely fit three bedrooms. The only thing about this is that I literally despise putting doors in like the corner of a room like that. I don't know what it is. I just want the door to be like a little bit off. That is so much more pleasant looking to me than it being like completely in the corner, but it's it's dumb to try and like adjust the floor plan to fit it better when that is perfectly fine. I've been sitting here thinking like, oh, maybe I'll do some like weird bump out thing so that I can have like the doors this way and it would be better. And. Uh, is it really worth doing that? Probably not. It does look cool though. Oh no. Oh, I might do that. Oh, well, <laughs> never mind. I take back everything I said because now I'm doing it like this. So good job, Kayla. This is actually a really decent sized house. I'm kind of impressed. It seems very big on the inside. Does anyone have any ideas as to why there's a lighting glitch on the floor? Because I know there used to be a wall there, but like, why, why is there a shadow? This is all one room as far as the game is concerned. So that's annoying. Look, I'm actually trying on the bathroom this time. I know I don't normally do that. A lot of times I just like, put random stuff in the bathrooms. But this time, because there's only one bathroom in the whole house, I'm actually trying, see? Look, it's kind of cute. I did use a lot of cheap stuff in there though. I apologize. I just, I'm trying to make this house not cost like 50,000 simoleons because it's really small and it should not be that expensive and I know it will be. So I'm trying to use like actually affordable items. This house is actually a little bit smaller than I thought it was on the inside. I thought I could get a bigger table, but we could probably put a larger table and then just have like four seats up against the wall like that. I mean, I could also make maybe center it in the room, but it, it just feels a little bit tight. So maybe if I sneak it in the corner back there, it might be better. I think I will use the slightly more expensive, but not expensive, expensive appliances. The third cheapest fridge. <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. I might even get us a dishwasher. I think we can have a dishwasher. Uh, maybe I'll make the counters blue as well. There's gonna be a lot of blue in here. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. It's it's gonna be very blue on the inside, but that's okay. It'll be nice. It's it's cozy. That's a reasonable amount of cabinets, right? I think that's a nice kitchen. Mm, I might I might switch the fridge to being over here. I don't know. I kind of just wish that there was like less. I want it to be a little bit smaller. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now it's kind of like an unreasonable amount of cabinets. I wish we had more. You know what? That's like story of our lives in real life, right? <laughs> you always wish you had more cabinets. Doesn't matter how many you have. You can always have more cabinets. All right. I feel like the only thing is this area feels kind of empty, but I could probably put just a bunch of big windows and then it's a, a nice walkway and a very bright space. And that's centered on the, on the house. So it doesn't seem that unreasonable. Okay, I got us some pet bowls. I always put down two. There isn't really a need for that. But in my head, one is for water and one is for food, even though in The Sims, your pets don't drink water. That's not good, is it? No, it's kind of concerning. I want to get a little bit more color tied in here, but I'm not really sure in what way. I wonder if I use that orange, maybe that would be fun to like bring in some extra colors into this room. <laughs> That's so ugly, I can't. I'm sorry, I, oh no. Maybe the beige will be okay. Oh, okay, hang on. Maybe. 
if we use that rug swatch instead? That completely changes the vibe of the whole place. I think that kind of actually works together well. Actually, I think that does work pretty well. Oh my gosh, why are all of the items like this such a weird size? I do think I want to use the laundry day little table right here. I think in real life, this would be a great spot to like dump your stuff. You know, you put your keys there, take a look in the mirror. In The Sims, you don't have keys, so <laughs> it's not exactly a concern, but still useful. And we could put like a coat rack and some shoes here or something too. I don't know. Why are the shoe racks so large? We can just put some regular shoes down. That's actually kind of cute. I do this sometimes where I'll like size down one of them because in my head that's like the kids shoes so they're a little bit smaller. I don't know what color to paint the rest of the walls. Can you tell that I'm putting it off? Eh, let's do some clutter in the kitchen instead, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Nice work. I don't think I should put too much. We need to make sure at least one of the counters is still functional so I might just leave it at that actually. Oh, maybe I'll give them a fire alarm. You may have noticed this but I never put fire alarms in my Sims builds. It's because the firefighters irritate me. They come to my house, they are late, like the fire has already been put out by me, and then they just shame you for starting a fire. Like, I should be shaming you for not doing your job better, stupid sim. Anyway, they're rude, so usually I avoid them, but this time they're invited. I never use this swatch. That's a really cute swatch of this wallpaper. Do you dare me to use the cat? No. I- okay, maybe I can. I never use the cats and dogs bed. I probably shouldn't use it with that wallpaper though. That's kind of a cute combo, right? Maybe? Maybe it is? I don't know. The cats and dogs furniture is actually kind of scary. I don't know if you've looked at this stuff recently, but <laughs> it is a little bit scary. It's gonna fill up like the entire room. Can I like not even fit it? I have to scoot it into the wall somehow, but not too far back because then that happens. There. Okay, does it look great? No, but it also doesn't look bad. And like I said, we don't usually get to- that one's kind of scary. I don't want to use that. But we don't usually get to use this stuff, so- or at least I- I don't usually use this stuff, I should say. That's a- that's a me problem, that's my choice, but I stand by it. I'm trying to pick cute things, but also things that are functional, and I haven't put anything functional yet. Like right now this is all just decoration, so I should probably put some items like, I don't know, maybe a bookshelf your sims can actually use. Or a toy? There's no toys in here. How about two? I'll put two toys. This one is a tiny- Tiny bit smaller, so I think I'll have this one be the, the second kid's room and this can be like a parent's room. Let's do pink. <gasps> what if we had a bunk bed? I don't know. Why is everything so big? <laughs> I just want like a smaller one. I know we have loads, but I'm trying to use somewhat limited packs for you. Oh, I think this room is so cute. I would have loved a bedroom like this when I was a kid. I'm just gonna give them some sort of pink on the walls. Preferably not anything too pink. Why do we not have a good swatch? That's purple. Why is there not like, oh, I'll, I'll do that pink, it's fine. I don't think that there's even space for a dresser in here because the room is so small. I don't really want to risk like your sims not being able to walk around the room. Mm, I'm not really sure what the best thing to do is then. Like for example, do you think your sims can walk in that space? I think they can. They tend to be reasonably smart to an extent. <laughs> they're, they're reasonably smart to an extent. Does that look okay from the outside? I think it does. I might use like a brick or, or some sort of brick-like thing in this little area, just to have like a slightly different texture. Oh, I do like that actually, okay. And then we can do the same thing in the back. I didn't really leave a lot of room on this lot for trees. <laughs> It's kind of like full. I put some purple flowers. I think I like how that looks. I might actually scoot the lot over one. I can, right? Yeah, I should be able to. It's not too big. Don't delete all my walls. Okay, it didn't. I got scared I was gonna delete like this whole back wall, but we're fine, it didn't. I did that because I kind of want to put some more flowers here. Like I want to steal this wall. Oh, can I even do that or is it gonna clip? Ooh, it clips a little bit. That's so annoying. <laughs> we can't win. Well, maybe I'll just put something on this back wall that covers it so you can't see it clipping from the inside. Side. Yeah, that'll work. That'll be fine. We'll just, we'll hide it. I'm just throwing in some little details like the lights and everything. Oh my gosh, the columns keep jumping up. That's, so, oh, platforms are so annoying. <laughs> please, I just want you to go, no, no, down, go, there we go. All right, now stay right there, please, and don't move. I'm giving us like one tree, just one, that's all we get. And then I might give us some monkey bars or something. I'm just trying to think of something that'll fill in the backyard a little bit and actually be functional for us. Little table, maybe a grill. Okay, that works. Can maybe stick a tree in the front over here if we size it down. And then the last thing is just the garage. I really, really wanted to put laundry in here and I think I like how that looks. And it's a good spot to like hang up a shelf above it and stuff. Oh, we're gonna need to have a proper hamper. Oh no. 
Well, maybe the parents' room can have one because there's not a lot of furniture in here. So maybe that'll be a good like thing in the corner. I usually just put one in my Sims builds because I find that the hampers are very annoying. Honestly, I I would just stick one and put it right there and then have that be it. Okay, I wanted to get a woodworking table though. That was kind of like the whole point of making this garage is to have a woodworking table. And then some sort of gym equipment might be nice. Honestly, it doesn't have to have much more than this. That kind of covers all our bases. I think this house turned out really cute. It's actually pretty big on the inside as well. And you could totally change this garage into like a whole other bedroom or something if you wanted to. But this is a pretty functional, playable house. And it costs um 40,000 simoleons, which is a little bit more than I meant for it too. But oh well. It was going to be expensive. We all knew it would. And to think this entire... Oh no. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Okay. <laughs> it worked. And to think this entire house was inspired just by the fact that I wanted to have a garage. Please, Sims team, I really want to have garages. Please. Think about how fun it would be if we could have this in like all of our builds. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like Sims builds, I post a ton on my channel, so feel free to subscribe. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I forgot to put any terrain paint. I literally just realized. Oh my god. How did I even manage that?